Hey, my name is Frans Nauta and I'm one of the trainers of Climate Launchpad. And in this video, I'm going to give you some tips to create a perfect pitch. Now, you know the order of the, the deck, so we're not going to talk about that because, well, this is easy. I'm going to talk about how to do it. And the first thing to think about is the setup. So imagine you have your slides and you go somewhere. Well, you want to make sure that everything works as you expect, right? And the only way to make certain of this is if you test your slides on the, press, on the computer that is going to be used for the presentation. So always, always, always go to the person who has the computer where you are supposed to put your slides on. Say, yes, here are they, and then check. Check with that person if everything works. Also, you're probably going to need to use a clicker, something like this. Make sure you understand how it works. You don't want to start on stage and then sort of, which, um, should I push this button? You know, that kind of kills the buzz and the, the energy. So make sure you know beforehand. Oh, and by the way, don't use movies. Don't use links to the internet because they tend to not work. They always work on your computer. They almost never work on someone else's computer. You can maybe do a GIF, so uh, a, a sort of photo that has movement in it. That tends to work. But no movies and no links to the internet. It's always trouble. Then the other thing is, you need to breathe. And this is kind of hard because, you know, it's kind of exciting to be on a stage. There might be hundreds of people watching. Um, how do you relax? How you, can you breathe? How can you make sure that you are capable of talking? Because if you want to talk, you need to breathe. Well, a very good start is to make sure you feel good about yourself. Like the Happy Buddha that I pasted in here. And, well, how can you do that? Well, a very simple way is to think about something that you have ach achieved in your life and that you feel really good about or something in your life that always makes you smile. Like, I'm a father, I have a child. If I want to feel happy, I just think about my daughter. Uh, but it also can be that you had this wonderful exam that you completely aced and you were acknowledged by everybody around you. Or maybe you gave a talk, it could even be in high school, and it was just so fun to do and people really liked what you did. Take something from the past where you were really happy and just maybe even close your eyes before you go on stage and think about that moment. So you sort of get that energy in you. It will be much easier to go on stage. And then when you go on stage, don't forget to breathe. You really have to make sure you breathe. If you don't, it's very hard to communicate what you want. So people tend to be too high with their breathing up here. You want to be down there in your belly, like that happy Buddha again with that round belly. That's where you want to breathe. That makes it much more easy to, to convey what you want to do. Now, if you really have a hard time breathing, there's one tip that ex worked extremely well for me. It, it wasn't intended like that. I wanted to become a singer of classical songs. And it turned out I had no talent whatsoever. Hardly. Um, but from the singing, I learned how to breathe while I was talking. So my presentation became much better. So if you really are anxious about breathing on stage, I suggest you take a course in classical singing. Enjoy. No. All right. Next, nonverbal communication. For instance, how should you stand? As you can see me in that picture, you really, really don't want to stand it with your hands in your pocket because it sort of does this with your shoulders. And the effect is that you block your lungs. It's, it's, it's very hard to breathe and have a normal voice when you do like this. It also looks really awkward. So don't do this. Just let your hands on the side so they are available to make points and say, so this is really important. Things like that. Don't overdo it, by the way. I'm, I'm someone who actually talks a little too much with their hands. So don't overdo it, but just don't put them in your pockets. And this is the same category. Also, never cross your arms. It, it, you can hear my voice even go strange when I do it, right? So, so don't do this. Just, 
it, it looks very defensive. So you look like a person who's really scared. We don't want to do that. You want, you, you want to be relaxed, right? You want to be open. You want to invite people to come and join you on your mission to do something about climate change. One more. Make sure you stand with two feet on the ground. So you can see me stand in this picture, like kind of nonchalant, like, I'm, I'm like, you know, like that. Um, no, that doesn't work because you're not stable. So you, you will sort of be moving and it's quite restless for people to watch. Um, and when you're not grounded, it, you make yourself weaker. So you really want to be standing with your feet on the ground and just stand there. And it, I, I, I know this can be kind of awkward if you're not used to it. So the, the, um, also with your hands, if they're, if they're not somewhere, they just hang. It feels awkward, but it's fine. Just let it go. Also, don't, don't touch your face or do too much wringing with your hands. It's all signs of tension. So people sometimes do this. If you tend to do that, one thing that you can do is that you simply hold something like a cup or, or a bottle. If you, if you tend to really become really nervous with your hands, just put something in them, like a cup or just your clicker. But just please don't do this. Now, there's a really nice trick if you want to prevent yourself from moving around too much, like something that I tend to do. And the trick is to stand on your two feet. I cannot show it here in the picture, but you stand on your two feet and then you turn your feet like it's about shoulder width, about this size, and then you turn your feet, feet outward. So they move like this, and then you sort of lock up your knees, and you stand. It's really hard to move around now. This is a really nice trick. So, this is, was part one of pitching. I hope it helps you. And there's more in pitching part two.